I'd recommend becoming a pilot as a career because I've loved it. Every day is different. Um, it's been very challenging. Um, having had a military background as well has complemented what I'm doing now and has given me that experience to be able to do this job. When I was about 13, um, we had to do a career questionnaire. What do we want to be when we grew up? And I put down a pilot, secret agent, astronaut. Um, and my uh, former teacher at the time said, can't possibly do this. No, 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 you should be a nurse or a teacher or something. So that was my challenge then. I had to do one of them. And pilot was something I set in my heart and um, looked at doing and followed through with. It's my experience working in a field where there aren't many women. Well, actually in this field there are because we've got several female paramedics. Um, and actually I found it easier working for Devon Air Ambulance than perhaps when I was working in the military. I didn't find it any different actually, we treated as equals. So how I see the future of aviation for women, hopefully expanding and growing, um, but in the time in 27 years that I've been in aviation, I've been surprised still how few pilots in the military I've seen coming through. But um, in the civilian world, I think it is expanding, but I think a lot of things that put people off is it's shift work, long hours, time away from home. And um, that obviously may not attract some people if they have a family. So I'd say to women wanting to start a career as a pilot, I'd just say stick with it um, and persevere really. I decided to train to become a paramedic um, when I was working in the hospitals, funnily enough. I would see the ambulance crews coming and going um, and thought that that might be something I'd quite like to do. I prefer dealing with the critical side of illness and injury more so than the minor illness and injury. And so it seemed to make sense to join a critical care team. Um, I knew that part of the training was doing a master's degree um, and I wanted to do some more higher education and I suppose that flying around in a helicopter is all right as well. I think there's definitely been a lack of female role models um, in, in medicine, particularly in paramedicine. Um, I had some fantastic mentors when I was doing my paramedic training. I think the average at the moment is that one in four female, or one in four critical care paramedics is female and one in five critical care doctors is female um, across the country. So there perhaps just needs to be a few more female role models. International Women's Day is, is really important in our profession um, because there's definitely a lack of females in specialty and leadership roles. Um, that's not necessarily just for Devon Air Ambulance but across the country and I'm quite a strong believer that women need to be seen in these roles to inspire like younger females to follow suit. Uh, so I was inspired to become a paramedic uh, because the job appeals to me in the fact it's not nine to five, it's not office based, uh, every day is different so it constantly keeps you on your toes um, and it's a chance to help other people in their time of need. As a paramedic when I first started back in 2008 uh, there weren't many women, um, those that were there had, had fought hard for their positions, um, so I think it's yeah my, my fellow female colleagues and peers who've inspired me the most. So my advice to young people and young women in particular um, would be don't let anything hold you back. Um, if it's something you really want to do, then just go for it. Within Devon Air Ambulance, we're really lucky to work as part of a team who are very supportive of each other. Um, we've now got more females working as part of the team, but the guys as well are, are massively encouraging um, and they certainly let us just get on and be part of the team as much as they are. <laughs>